Welcome back for another episode of Jimmy Pickles Pepper Channel. Today I will be reviewing Frank's Red Hut the original. Small history about it, uh, a guy named Jacob Frank down in Louisiana started the company in 1917. He started with the sauce and years and years later, um, this powder year right now, 2020. And uh, I believe this powder has been out probably since 2019, maybe before. Uh, McCormick does all their products now. And uh, so I was going to eat one on a wing. Cleanse my palate. And now one thing about Frank's uh, Red Hot. I mean, I think that was sort of like everybody's sauce in the beginning like you know starting out with all the the spices and the peppers and all us big pepper heads and you'd go to a bar have a couple beers sit down get some wings and all of a sudden they bring the wings out you're starving you want it you had a couple drinks in you but the vinegar from it always said like oh it always kind of grabbed me I mean, I've always liked the flavor. Um, now that I've had all these other sauces, of course, Frank's Red Hot is not my favorite. It really isn't, just being honest. Um, but it's a decent to go to. And if you want to make a buffalo wing sauce out of your standard Frank's Red Hot, all you got to do is add a little bit of butter and paprika. Mix it up. Boom and a bang, you got buffalo uh, wing sauce. So today I'm doing the powder. So as you just noticed, I complained about the vinegar. Powder, no vinegar, of course. Uh, I powdered it up, let it sit for a while, soaked onto the skin. So we're going to read the ingredients. Cayenne pepper. Um Sauce powder is uh, corn. Let's see, cayenne, pepper, vinegar. There is vinegar, I guess, in here. So they probably had this, I, I imagine. So we'll go through this. And uh, salt, natural flavors, garlic, corn, salt, spices, including paprika, garlic, sugar, and a bunch of other stuff. So. I imagine they made the sauce and probably added stuff so it dries out quicker and it gets more of a powder. So let's go to it, folks. That's bright, just like the the sauce. I'm hungry, folks. So I'm going to keep eating. Okay, the review. I like this way better than the sauce. You can taste it. I actually like the fact that you can taste the vinegar. But with the sauce, the vinegar is just so robust in your, in your face. It almost looks like I had Cheeto hands. So... So the fact, I actually like the flavor of vinegar. I actually like the flavor. You know, you put uh, apple cider vinegar on french fries, a little salt, stuff like that. The fact that I taste the vinegar in this powder is a plus. Is it better than the sauce? Yes. I probably would never buy the sauce. Again, I would just buy the powder. 
I actually enjoy this. I was hanging out with friends one night, and one of my buddies mentions, hey, you know, you know they make a powder now. I'm going to say, you know, I knew that, but I was intrigued. So, and uh, they recommend it for meat, you know, hence the wings, fries, popcorn, veggies. So I do like this stuff. I think this is going to be a regular on my kitchen, but it's not that hot. I think the sauce is a little bit hotter. But it's an enjoyable taste. It actually has a great flavor. It really does. I wish there was more wing left so I could eat more. It's good stuff. So I do recommend it. Heat is very low. I barely taste any heat. I'm a chili head, so I really don't taste anything on heat. Just enough for flavoring, basically. It's good flavoring all around. So, two thumbs up. Heat really doesn't exist in this. Very, very little. Just a great flavor.